is up everyone? Welcome to the show. My name is John Moore and in today's video we're going to be learning about rolls. Now, rolls are the building blocks to music on the banjo. Rolls are what give us energy and drive in our music and if we're not hitting a note or a series of notes that are in a roll, they're probably leading us into a roll. So most of your picking is going to be done out of some variation of one of these three rolls and that is the forward roll, the backward roll, and the alternating roll. Let's get into it. Now to start off with, I wanna show you guys the forward roll. Now how you determine which roll you're playing is by the picking order of the fingers on your right hand. So with the forward roll, it goes thumb, index, middle. And that's the picking order. And you can repeat that over and over. Thumb, index, middle. Thumb, index, middle. And what that would sound like picked on the banjo would be in the order of three, two, one on the banjo, and that's the string numbers. Three, two, one. It goes like this. Once again, that's three, two, one, thumb, index, middle. And what I want you to do is I want you to practice this over and over until you get this smooth, till it's something like this. And you can play it over and over. Now another variation I'd like you to practice is five, two, one, five, two, one. Now if you're not familiar with the string numberings that I'm calling out, you can check out my video on the anatomy of the banjo where I go over all of that. You can also check out my video on tuning where I cover that again as well. But it goes five, two, one. And I want you to practice that until it sounds something like this. I also want you to practice five, three, one, five, three, one. Those are your most common variations of the forward roll. So the backward roll is just the opposite of that. So it goes middle finger, index finger, thumb, rather than thumb, index, middle. So we're going middle finger, index, thumb. So now we can go one, two, three. And then we just do that over and over. Now you may not be able to do these rolls as fast as I'm demonstrating here when I do the uh, when I show how smooth that you can do them. What's important is that you get them smooth, not fast. The speed will come with practice. Another variation of this is one, two, five. So one, two, five, one, two, five, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb. We can also go one, three, five, one, three, five. And I want you to practice those three variations. That is one, two, three. One, two, five. One, three, five. And those are your three most common variations of that. The next and last roll I want to show you guys is the alternating roll. Now the alternating roll is different than the others in that it doesn't just go one way, it sort of alternates back and forth. So we go thumb, index, thumb, middle. And that's our picking order. So once again, that's thumb, index, thumb, middle. And how that might sound, would be with the picking order three, two, five, one. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. Three, two, five, one. And we can just repeat that over and over. Now that's the only variation I want, or that's the only version I want you to worry about for now. There are other variations out there, but so long as you can do thumb, index, 
index or thumb index thumb middle then you should be good to go there's not a lot of changes in your hand positioning or anything like that in some songs we may do something like a four two five one or maybe three two four one but that should come pretty natural the alternating role the most important thing is that we get the coordination of thumb index thumb middle and the role i want you to practice is three two five one three two five one over and over so to give you guys an example of what these rolls sound like when we combine them with our left hand as well as when we combine the rolls together you know the, all these rolls they're sort of they depend on each other you can't just use one you have to use all of them so I want to give you guys an example of what these sound like when we combine them with fretting as well as combining the rolls themselves. So we're going to start off with a forward roll and I'm going to do a quick little slide here doing three, two, one. I'm going to do a fifth string as a fill note and then we're going to do one, two, three doing a pull off on the third string and then the first string is a fill note. And then I'm going to do hammer on the fourth string four, two, five, one, and then back to our home note, G. That's our third string. So once again, forward roll, fill, backward roll, fill, alternating roll, then home. So. And that's all three of those back to back. So that's it for the video. I really hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please be sure to leave it a like down below. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. And if you really like this video, you can head on over to Patreon and help support these videos over there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.